Oh, welcome back guys. Today we're going to attempt to pair up our Socotra Island Blue Baboon, the Monocentropus Balfouri. Now we just brought the male in now, he's in the pot. And you'll notice that we're going to try and tip him out facing away from the hole. There we go. And that is because we don't want him falling out of the pot running straight down the hole. This could be an almost certain death. So we want him to face away from the hole. If he should bolt, he'll run straight up and out the enclosure, which is fine. That's not a problem. So he's going to sit there now. We'll wait for him to pick up the pheromones. There you go, look at that. You see he grips the web and just gives it a little, a little tiny shake through his body. And that sends vibrations through the web. There you go. Perfect. Now you'll see there that the um, I keep my females in a small 20 by 20 by 20. Here we go, he's on the move now. Little vibrations from his legs then, did you see that? Now this is ample for a, an adult female Balfouri on our own. And I keep my females singly for breeding. Oh look at that, here she comes. What a wonderful specimen, look at her. Notice the size difference. Also, look at the, look at the thermometer in the back. Humidity 68%. Now these are a dry species, but as you can see there, we have an air humidity of 68%. We'll talk about that in a moment. But let's just concentrate on, on this female. Look at her, the wonderful colouring. The tan on those legs, ending in the beautiful blue where they get their name from, the blue leg baboon. See she's got that lovely steely blue carapace as well big solid heavy looking spider note her abdomen there very very clean also nice and plump which is exactly where we want our females prior to breeding she's carrying good weight but you'll note she's not overweight very important now he's already found the spot he's not hanging around today he's, he's straight in there he's found her epigastric furrow and you see that very, very gentle stroke in there. He's actually inseminating as we speak. Another interesting point with these guys is you'll notice that she's actually holding herself up. Quite often the males have to push the female up to get her into position. But not so much with these. You see how she's holding him. He, he's literally, he's hardly touching her at all with his legs. You'll notice there that at the end of his toes they quiver. And this is sending little signals to her all the time that he's got good intentions. Now often people will see their spiders when they're trying to breed them and they worry at this stage because she almost looks as if she's in a threat pose. She, she doesn't actually intend him any harm at the moment. And it's very, very important that we just allow them to get on with what they're going to do naturally. We don't want to send too much in the way of vibration around the tank. Even loud talking can sometimes be enough to put these guys off. And the last thing we want to do is aggravate our female because she will take it out on the male. Notice there that he's just literally just stroking away again. As we were saying earlier on about the um, about the humidity, these are a dry species, and they do enjoy a dry environment. But this doesn't necessarily mean that it lacks humidity. All it means is, is that the substrate and surrounding area is dry. 
humidity is in the air not in the substrate so what I do with my guys here is I give them a very very gentle spray once a week and it is a very very gentle mist literally one or two squirts that is all it's hardly anything and all that does is that will give a little bit of moisture onto the webbing and occasionally they'll come out and drink from it as well you'll also see that there's a water bowl in there as well I don't keep these water bowls filled up all the time so I might just fill their water bowl once a week allow it to dry out it's not a problem they get a lot of their sustenance through their through their food so it's not as important with these especially when adult you can see there he's still working away You can just see at the end there, he's, the end of his pedipalps are just very, very gently tickling her underneath her abdomen there. You can see he's actually found the epigastric furrow and he is inseminating her as we speak. A bit of trouble focusing there because we've got some webbing on the glass. Confuses the camera. Here we go, that's better. Notice how gentle he is. I must say with the with the Balfouri, the males tend to be real gentlemen. You see there, as soon as her legs start to come down, he literally just touches them straight away, puts them back up in place. We're not seeing much else movement from him. Very, very faint vibrations coming from him every now and again. And she is a, she is just fully submissive. Here we go. He's look. look he said, "I'm not quite finished yet. Stay there, my dear." You notice he's in Bowley at the end there. The end of his pedipalps there. You can see them working away. And what they are doing, they're moving from side to side within her epigastric furrow. And he's literally laying down the sperm inside there. It's a very, very subtle movement. Now these guys tend to pair relatively well most of the time. We have had the odd male get eaten. There you go, he's had enough. He's off, he's finished. You notice how she still stays in position? He's trying to climb the glass. He's not very good at that, and he just fell down there, which made her jump a little bit. There's no need to panic. Plenty of time. That's him back in his pot. And she is still in a state of uh, arousal there, really. Look, she's still fully, fully committed. Here we go. It's going to settle down now. Well, don't forget, be calm, be gentle, and love your spiders. See you soon, guys.